To use the macro, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your macro security is set to low. Go into File, Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, Macro Settings, and set it to Enable All Macros. Next, you'll press Alt F11 to open the Visual Basic Editor. Expand the project and double click on this Outlook session. Copy the macro from the web page and click Control V to paste it. And that is all you need to do. This is an application startup macro, so you'll click in the application startup macro and then click the Run button. Uh, it only runs when you start Outlook, so you have to click in the application startup to kick start it without restarting Outlook. As written, that expands only the default data file. We need to change the value here to false in order for it to work with all folders. Let's collapse that. And now we will click in this application startup and run the macro. And you can watch it expand all of the folders.